680 News Business Editor Richard Southern joins us. And uh, Richard, the provincial Liberals did promise to lower hydro rates over the next few years, but today Hydro One applied to hike our power bill starting January the 1st. Sure did. We have a statement here. Hydro One Francis applying to the Ontario Energy Board looking to hike rates starting on January 1st of 2018. Hydro One wants to increase the average rate about $2.35 a month for each of the next five years. It would be about a 3% overall the increase. Hydro One says the money would go towards maintaining and upgrading their current electrical system. Uh, indeed, the Liberals did announce earlier this year their fair hydro plan, which would reduce customers' hydro costs by 25%. But then we have this uh, Hydro uh, One notice today, and PC leader Patrick Brown has released an open letter urging Premier Wynne to reject this rate increase. He called it, quote, extremely unfair and unaffordable, claiming it would result in about $141 overall increase to the average hydro bill. Francis. Well, good luck finding any pot to smoke on July 1st of next year, Richard, if that's your thing. It appears that Canada's legal marijuana market will not be able to meet demand. So this is big. There's a lot of guys now that watch this uh, marijuana industry in Canada, Francis, and they're telling me that there's little doubt about it. The shelves will be bare come July 1st of next year. We still don't know where pot will be sold in Ontario, but it doesn't matter where it is. There's just not going to be enough supply to keep up with demand. Health Canada thinks between 4 and 6 million Canadians will use cannabis recreationally next year, smoking some 655,000 kilograms of it. Currently, though, the medical growers who are going to supply this market grow just 80,000 kilograms, not nearly enough. And the offshoot businesses that supply the lights and the security systems, they're not going to be able to keep up with demand either. To help with the problem, Health Canada has announced that it's streamlining the process for granting grow licenses. But, Francis, it could take up to three years for the production to be up to a level where it needs to be. And in the meantime, the black market will probably continue to flourish. And hydro rates are going up? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there'll be a lot of hydro used in those uh, robots, no doubt about it. So, uh, do you have any rich relatives, Richard? Unfortunately not. Can no. you introduce me to some, Francis? I, I'd like to have I some. I don't have any either, but uh, for those who maybe are expecting that inheritance check, a new report finds that if you're expecting a windfall, you may not actually get it. Keep on waiting. So this new report out finds 68% of young people are expecting an inheritance, yet only 40% of their parents will leave one. 57% of boomers say they're not going to have enough money left to pass on. 35% say they're going to spend every last penny they have. <laughs> and Francis, uh-oh, 24% of boomers expect their kids to fund some of their retirement. This is really a worry because it found as well that 77% of Canadians expect the family wealth to fund their retirement. And that just might not be the case. What's more, Francis, when we're talking about inheritance, only about 50% of Canadians have a will. And they say, even if you don't have a lot of assets, you should have a living will. Well, you know what? I'm sure it's a lot of parents are actually funding their children now. Right? We had that so, study in just today yes. about what one in five people who were buying a house in Toronto had help mm -hmm. with the down payment, and that's probably coming from the bank of mom and dad. And that's why. Now, grocery shoppers will soon have a new option. Toronto is about to get its first farm boy store. So City News, of course, as you know, Francis, we're, we are, we're on the cable system up in Ottawa. So hello to everyone in Ottawa. They know what farm boy is up. They are very popular, but we don't have any in Toronto yet. That is going to change. Farm boy grocery store set to open in a Tobacco on Browns Line Road later this year. Uh, this is uh, kind of an upscale supermarket. They're all about organic, sustainable, locally sourced foods. And uh, this uh, 20,000 square foot location in Etobicoke will sell over 300 different types of cheese. The butcher counter will sell 20 different types of house-made sausages. There's also a big bulk selection. And eventually, Farm Boy says it wants to open up locations in downtown Toronto to cater to the condo crowd, Francis. Very nice. Now, uh, the restaurant industry struggling to deal with take out of a different kind. You can't take everything out of an eatery, can you, Richard? People are trying to do that. Just the, this is a big problem. Restaurateurs know this, Francis, but the rest of us might not. Turns out that people, when they go out to eat, they get sticky fingers. Theft is rampant in restaurants right now. The most popular stolen items are things like steak knives, hot sauce bottles, salt shakers, pepper grinders. Soap regularly goes missing out of the bathroom, so, as do toilet paper rolls, very popular. Uh, the spindles in the toilet paper holders, for some reason, another popular item that regularly gets stolen. One Seattle restaurant says wallpaper was stolen twice off their wall. Someone used an X-Acto knife to care 
carefully remove it. And candle holders, they go missing too. And if there's any uh, plateware or glassware with a letter on it, watch <laughs> out. One restaurant had the letter T on their glass, and that uh -huh. meant every Tom and Teresa and Tabitha felt they should take that glass with them, and they did. And maybe Tammy's too. Tammy's, they wanted in on that glass yes. too, and the restaurants were left paying for it, so not good. All right, thank you, Richard.